All right, let's talk parts of speech. Now, most kids learn the parts of speech in third grade. Unfortunately, in third grade, they don't really have the cognitive power to identify the parts of speech in more complex sentences. Usually, they're just matching up kick with verb and uh, rock with noun. But adverbs, most adjectives, pronouns, they get a little bit more complex and it's harder to identify them in action. So I'm going to give you a few simple techniques, a few questions you can ask yourself to see what part of speech any given word is in a sentence. Let's take this sentence to begin. All right, the pizza in the fridge is gross and it really smells. So I like to remember the following order when I go about identifying parts of speech. The order is V, P, and N, A, A, P, C. And that is verbs, pronouns, and nouns, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, and conjunctions. This is what I do to remember them. Very polite and nice aardvarks always prepare cookies. All right, so aardvarks are apparently really great hosts. And this helps me remember the order to find verbs first, then pronouns, also proper nouns, and common nouns, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, and conjunctions. And there are multiple kinds of conjunctions, but here I'll typically be only talking about coordinating conjunctions. So let's go over this. First, verbs. So verbs are action words, and when I ask students to identify verbs, they're good at finding ones like swim or kick or jump, but it's not so easy when it comes to the to be verbs and other maybe intransitive verbs. But let's take a look at this sentence. The pizza in the fridge is gross and it really smells. All sentences have at least one verb. Let's figure it out for this one. Here's what I like to do. Make a sample sentence like this. I, it, or we, if any of them work, blank, and then a prepositional phrase, maybe after school. So if this, if any of these, plus the word you think is a verb, work as an answer to a question, then it's going to be a verb. So let's say you thought really was a verb because it's, it just seems like an action. So you plug it in here. I really, after school. What did you do after school? I really. Well, you really That doesn't really work. So our first verb is the word is, and if we were to plug that in here, it would be, it is after school. Uh, is that happening today? It is after school. That would work, and so this is a verb. Uh, if you tried gross, you might think that was an action uh, because it seems like something's happening. But if you say, I gross after school, it gross after school, we gross after school, you can't really gross. You can't do the action of grossing. So it's not a verb. There's one more. See if you can find it. Does that thing smell good? Uh, it smells after school. Okay, that would work. So smells is a verb. Right? It's something can do it. So that's what verbs are. Things that are words that a subject can do. All right. Now there are no more, so let's move on. 
get that last verb. All right, let's move on to pronouns and nouns. And we group these together because pronouns are still nouns. And they function in the same way in a sentence. They just represent a different collection of words. So first, nouns. Most people are pretty good at this, even from third grade. Identifying persons, places, things, or ideas. It's pretty easy. Okay, so pizza, first of all. Pizza is a thing, so that's a noun. And can pizza do something? Well, sure. Pizza can be. Uh, pizza uh, falls. Pizza, it's a thing. It's something you can think about that's a noun. Fridge is another one. Okay, now, once you've got the regular common nouns out of the way, um, let's look for the pronouns. Now, pronouns are words that replace nouns instead of Mr. Clegg, I, instead of Sally or Joe, you, he, she. Uh, so they represent nouns with shortened words instead of this ruler, it, that sort of thing. Okay, so if we look at this sentence, I already gave it to you, but it is the pronoun. And it stands in place of pizza, the common noun, and so it's pro. Pro means that it goes in place of. Okay, after that we go on to adjectives. And the order becomes more important here because adjectives are going to relate to pronouns and nouns. And they're going to answer a question. And that question is, what kind of noun is it? All right. So for this, start at the end, typically, it doesn't really matter. Find all of your nouns and pronouns and ask yourself, what kind of it? What kind of fridge? What kind of pizza? So let's start. Uh, is there any word in this sentence that tells you what kind of it it is, that describes it? Not really. Okay, what about fridge? What kind of a fridge is it? This might seem tricky, but the is an, it's called an article, but articles are types of adjectives. They tell you what kind. So the word the is an adjective. Uh, as opposed to any old fridge, it's the fridge, the one that we both know about. Likewise, this the is an adjective. Okay, so uh, are there any others? Are there any other words in this sentence that tell you what kind of pizza or fridge or it? And you should identify one, gross. What kind of a pizza is it? It's a gross pizza. All right. Now, with adjectives out of the way, we move on to adverbs. Adverbs also answer a question, but they don't answer it about nouns. Adverbs answer a question about verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. And that question is simply how. So, let's take a look. First of all, without attaching it to any specific word in the sentence, are there any words among the ones we've got left that say how? How something was done, how an adjective described a noun, how another adverb described another verb. If you look at it for a moment, you realize that in couldn't be one, and couldn't, but really is an adverb because it tells you how the action of smelling is done. It really smells. Uh, not just a regular old smell, but a real smell. It's really smelling. Okay, none of the other words work in there, so we move on to prepositions. For prepositions, I like to use this sample sentence, sort of like the verb sentence, to test. And it is, the pencil is or goes blank the desk. 
Okay, so any word that would turn this into a sentence is going to be a preposition. So, does and work for a preposition? These words that show you the position of things? The pencil is and the desk. No, the pencil goes and the desk. That doesn't work. But in, of course, does. The pencil goes in the desk, or the pencil is in the desk. Either one works. Only one of them needs to, in this case both do. So this is a preposition showing the relationship of two nouns, typically. Okay, last we have conjunctions. There's only one word left, and so it's a shoe-in. We know it's going to be there, but conjunctions are easy because, at least for coordinating conjunctions, we're limited to seven of them. And the acronym FANBOYS lets us know what they are. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. That's FANBOYS. And those are the words that can link two independent clauses together using a comma. Coordinating conjunctions. So, conjunction there, and we're done. Let's do another sentence. And see if we've got it. All right, our new sentence. The cookie on this table belongs to me. So first, do you remember the order? Think to yourself the order of the parts of speech as we're going to find them in this sentence. Very polite and nice aardvarks always prepare cookies. V, P and N, A, A, P, C. So, let's start with our verbs here. Verbs, action words. Remember the sentence, I, it, or we, Blank after school to answer a question. The only one that works in here is... Belongs. Verb. It belongs after school. That would work. Okay. Next, let's move on to pronouns and nouns. Typically, it's a good idea to start with common nouns because they're easier. Cookie is a thing. All right, table is a thing. Any others? Any things, persons, places, or ideas? How about this? Me. Now, rather than saying Mr. Clegg, I'll say me. That stands in place. So we have there an example of a pronoun. All right. Now that's it with nouns and pronouns. Let's move on to adjectives. What question do adjectives answer? That's right. What kind of noun or pronoun? Okay, so what kind of me? Not there. What kind of table? This table. This. It's not an article, but similar to it. This demonstrative adjective is telling you what kind of table. And just like in the last sentence, the word the is an adjective. Here, telling you what kind of cookie. Next, we move on to adverbs. Any words that tell you how. How a verb was doing its job, how an adjective was doing its job, or how another adverb was doing its job. Any words left that answer the question how? Not really. So, we move on to prepositions. The sample sentence there is, the pencil is or goes blank the desk. Do either of these work? The pencil is on the desk. Works. Preposition. The pencil is to the de the pencil goes to the desk. That works. Preposition. And that's it. We're taken care of there. So we don't have any conjunctions. And 
Of course, you won't have them in all sentences. The only one that you'll always have for sure is going to be a verb, and almost always a noun, unless it's a command and then it's an implied noun. All right. We'll see you again soon.